Hey what's up you guys, it's Jackson and welcome back to another video thing. So a little content warning for this video, I talk about struggles with body weight and struggles with anxiety. So if that is something that you can be triggered by or something that can upset you or offend you, please watch your own discretion or click off this video because I do not want to upset or hurt anybody with this video, I just want to share my story. So this wasn't something I was ever planning on talking about but I feel like I'm comfortable enough and in a point of my life now where I just am ready to talk about it. Like I said, I wasn't ever planning on it but I just, I don't know, I kind of was seeing a few pictures uh, over the past couple of days and just kind of comparing how far I've come. I've just decided that now was the right time to just kind of talk about it. I've never felt obliged to but I just, I, I just kind of want to now. So starting from the very beginning, this all started around August 2018. I hit a very, very bad wave of anxiety, which basically meant that I was I started not eating properly for about three to five days. And even when I was eating, I was eating very, very, very small portions as every time I ate, I felt like I was gonna throw up. Throwing up scares the shit out of me, which only meant that it was kind of adding up more anxiety and anxiety upon anxiety. So it just got to the point where I just didn't eat. It was very, very bad as when I don't eat, I lose weight very quickly. Over that time period of about a week, I ended up losing five kilograms in weight which was a lot for me as I was already quite small the terminology is different I'll try to explain it in whatever way I can so between three to five days I went from like eight stone to seven stone or if you understand I went from 50 ish kilos to 45 kilos if you're American I went from 100 pounds to 90 pounds in like five days so I got better and I started eating again but for about six to nine months I stayed at 45 kilograms but personally at the time I didn't think it was that drastic I just thought I looked a bit skinnier but the reason I'm actually wearing this top today is because about a year ago to the day I was visiting my friend Elliot over in London and filmed a video with him around this time last year and I was just gonna throw in the video here just a little snippet of it and it's probably playing over as I'm talking right now but just to see the difference of just how small I was like you can kind of see it in my face and just it, I don't know even in my shoulders sometimes you can tell but I think it's really in the face that you can tell just how small I was um, and just how unaware of how small I was my fiance Kate was always worried about me but she actually held back from saying anything to me because she was scared that she would offend me or she would upset me and looking back at the pictures that I sent her when I was over in New York last year in February I just I was shocked and I completely understood just why she was worried and like how worried I would have been if she just showed me pictures of her being that small but again I can understand why she didn't say anything because it's such a touchy subject that you don't want to hurt anybody but you need to say something in fear of them hurting themselves or just getting worse or becoming unhealthy or getting sick just due to how small they've become. Now don't get me wrong, I know that's people that suffer daily or suffered way worse than I ever have but to me this was the smallest I've ever been. I've always been skinny but this was just such an unhealthy weight for me. Looking back I can just be in shock at how small I was for me personally. Like it wasn't, it wasn't good at all. Again, this is my own personal struggle, so please don't be commenting like, you weren't even that small, or blah blah blah, like, no comments like that, please. Like, for me, this was my own personal struggle, and being that small was a struggle for me. Since a very young age, I've been always playing sports, always been super active, which meant that I developed a very, very fast metabolism. So any food that I eat, or anything that I could possibly try stuff in my face to make myself gain a bit of weight, um, has always just been burned off as quick because my metabolism is just that high. So my metabolism is a bit of a blessing and a curse because if I was bigger and I was trying to lose weight, my metabolism would be great for that, but, but the fact that I'm smaller and I'm trying to gain weight, my metabolism is getting in the way. My weight and my mental health are two things that I struggle with right now and they kind of coincide together in the fact that my mental health is struggling because of how small I am. After just getting out of top surgery and healing up well, I constantly want to be shirtless but I'm always scared to be shirtless because people always say to me, oh my god, you're so small, like would you not think about trying to put on some weight or I wish I was as small as you or it's stuff that people don't realise that would affect me that they say because I don't want to be told like, oh I want to be as small as you are, oh my god you're so skinny, I wish I was that small, why, why aren't you eating more, why... It's just, I can't even finish a sentence because it's just this, so annoying talking about it because people always say it to me and I'm just so sick of hearing it. Like I put up a post of, you know, getting out of top surgery in the binder, one day post-op and people are commenting, oh my God, you're so small, are you okay? Like what's going on? And I'm actually at a quite healthy, normal weight right now. I'm still a little bit underweight, I think, I'm not sure. I'm trying to gain as much weight as I can right now, but it's just, it's quite hard because I can't build muscle because I can't go to the gym. I'm eating as much as I can, but my metabolism is just burning it off. There's not really much I can do. Right now, I'm just focusing on myself and that's all I really can do to try and improve my mental health and just focusing on getting 
getting a good routine and surrounding myself with positive people. Weight wise, I do plan on getting into the gym as soon as possible and just getting into a good diet and a good exercise routine and just try to build myself up as much as I can in both mentally and physically. <laughs> now I did not make this video for attention or sympathy. I simply made this video to show that although people don't believe it sometimes, people who are skinny can have body image issues as well. Now this was more of an unhealthy body weight rather than body image issues. I just still, I'm just trying to get the point across that just because you think someone is so skinny or so small that they're super confident in themselves or they're, you know, the most happiest person in their in their body, just know that you, you have to be careful what you say because you never know how they feel about their body weight or what they say. But like if they're saying, oh, I'm feeling really good about myself today, then maybe jump in, but just be careful. Like I am trying as much as I can but it's not helping when everybody is, you know, watching what I eat, tell me what I, telling me what I should eat, telling me how much I should eat. Just feeling like every time I sit down to eat something, there's people staring over me or waiting for something to be said. That really affects me, and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just done with it. It really affects me more than a lot of people know. I actually had a breakdown about it the other night. I just sat there and I cried at my fiance and she just held me and I was just telling her of just how sick of it I am and how much I'm trying to gain weight and just people just not getting off my back and just, you know, like I said, the small things that people wouldn't understand or realize that they say that would affect me. And it's, it's kind of hard because if I even say anything to anybody, they're like, oh, stop being so sensitive or I'm just trying to look out for you. I'm just worried about you. It's just, it's one of those things where you say something about how you feel and people are like, oh, stop being so sensitive. You should be happy you're this small. Like, I wish I was that skinny. Being trans also means that being this small just heightens my dysphoria completely personally for me and that just doesn't help at all in the situation. So if you're someone who's struggling with body weight issues or just body image issues in general, just know that you're not alone and if you are smaller with body image issues, know that you have a right to feel the way you are. If you're bigger with body weight image issues, know that you you have a right to feel this way. Like you, I don't even, and I'm just so passionate about this. Like don't let anybody tell you like, oh, I wish I was your size or, you know, you're curvy, you, you should be happy with it or you're so small, you should be happy with it. And if you feel like you're never gonna be comfortable or happy with the body that you have or the, the way that you look, just know that I am proof that I hated the way I looked and I'm getting there and I'm still not there, but things take time and patience and I know soon I will be there it's just I gotta take care of myself and put myself as my number one priority right now and that's completely fine. Self-love is so, so, so important and I can never say that enough. You are not alone, I'm here, so many people are here and just know that soon, I'm not gonna say one day because that sounds so far away, soon you're gonna be so happy with who you are and look in the mirror and be like, damn, that's a sexy piece of ass. You just gotta give yourself time. Self-love takes time. Just be there for yourself and love yourself. That's the end of this video. Rant over, story over. I am getting to where I want to be and I just want to share this story because I'm sick of people telling me how small I am and if you were someone who commented on my Instagram, don't worry about it, just please don't comment it anymore. I'm scared to post shit because people are like, oh you're so skinny and blah blah blah. Thank you so much for watching this video. As usual, I hope you had, have or are having a fantabulous day. Quoting Alan, be kind to one another and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.